guys how is everyone doing i hope everyone is doing great i'm back with another video to give you an important update regarding h1b lcs as well as uh, uh, perm lcs so this is a very important update please do watch until the end of this video if you have any questions or uh, feedback please put them in the comments i'll be more than happy to answer your question please do remember that these videos are uh, uh, these videos are for informational purposes to lead you in a right direction but not for any immigration advices let's go and let's not waste more time and get into the more details and if you are here for the first time please do subscribe to my channel and do not forget to turn on the notification bell for entertainment and information related videos let's get into more details guys all right whenever a h1b petition is filed on your behalf initially there is a, the, the first process what they do is that they they file an lca labor application that's through department of labor this happens even when you start your green card process which they refer it as a perm perm the first stage of green card process so what they do is they take your petition and they file it with your department of labor department of labor is there to make sure that you are getting a you are at least getting paid a minimum of prevailing wage or greater than that for your respective position in that respective location and all that etc etc category so uh, as of now what's happening is they are increasing this prevailing wage level so you might be thinking like hey that's a good news right because you'll be getting more paid well that can happen that can go in two directions actually your company might be thinking like oh yeah the the increase doesn't affect and we can still afford and uh, we can continue to file which is very good so they'll be increasing your salary and they'll still file your h1b petition the second thing companies might think like it's over their budget and they might think like oh we won't be able to accommodate any more foreign labor if uh, this uh, if these if, if these prevailing wages are greater than what they are right now and you you might be fired so it can go in either directions depending on the company but before this rule is already published and it's already taken into effect so if you are filing for your h1b lcs or green card uh, perm process you need to make sure that uh, i mean i guess like your hrs and everyone will make sure that you are at that prevailing you are at least getting paid a minimum of that prevailing wage as uh, described by the department of labor or greater than that so the important point is here right now the so there are four wage levels actually so if, if you want you can go and open your h1b application packet uh, there will be a department of labor application that your company uh, used to file there will be clearly mentioning about uh, the wage level structure if you are qualified for wage level 1 2 3 or 4 generally wage level 1 is for uh, entry level candidates and if you are senior or greater than that you should be under wage 3 or wage 4 so when they file this department of labor application uh let's say like you are an electrical engineer at a respective location for working in in certain geographical location with when when they enter all these details in the department of labor website they get a prevailing wage with all the experience that you got they the department of labor will give you will will give them a prevailing wage so that should so you should be getting a minimum of that or greater than that salary actually the problem here is those wage levels got increased drastically yes drastically wage level one has been increased from 17 17 percentile to 45 percentile wage two has been increased from 34 to 60 second percentile wage three which is at 50th percentile it got increased to 78th percentile and wage four uh, i forgot the current percentile but it's been increased to 95th percentile that's a drastic increase actually so right now wage 3 the prevailing wage 3 level is at 50th percentile and the new wage 1 uh, prevailing wage level 1 is at 45th percent so right now if you are under the wage 3 that is equivalent to the new wage level 1 so if an if an entry level if uh, like from tomorrow if an entry level candidate is coming he should be paid almost equivalent to the wage 3 level in order to get his h1b petition filed so that's a really a drastic drastic increase so some employers might be feasible some employers might not be feasible so right now this rule is published and it's already taken into effect and they give 30 days uh, for commenting and they can to tweak or modify if they feel any changes but we don't know if someone will be coming back and filing some lawsuits because uh, 
you think on the positive side your salaries will be getting increased but actually it might not happen that a lot of companies might not be able to offer because it's already a lot of money that they are spending on your h1b green card applications filing for extensions etc etc so a lot of companies might not be even ready to uh, accept this new prevailing wage levels so it can go either way actually so it's good as well as bad news so we don't know and let's see if someone comes and files lawsuits uh, stopping that regulation into taking effect and again they showed the reason of corona so this rule is already published without going through the whole rule making process another important point is this will not affect your current status so let's say you're already on h1b and you might be <clears throat> in you might be already finished up with your second stage of green card processing so the new wage levels will not apply to you right now so whatever it's been filed before for your h1b or for your uh, green card pun process that all stays same so you don't need to go back and retrieve them and make sure that uh, you are matching with the new wage level that is not required but the problem comes here when you are filing for the extension tomorrow uh, these new you have to meet your company has to meet this new prevailing wage levels that you are getting paid at least minimum of that wage level salary in order to file h1b petition if not they will not be they cannot file h1b petition things are happening in this year 2020 especially with this us immigration it can be election stunt or whatnot but a lot of people are suffering with these rules going back and forth and coming back so let's see let's uh, i hope everything goes good with everyone so please stay home stay safe have a nice day bye